living in the moment you're loving the camp of van life you're living in the moment and loving the camp of van life Ooh. right back again i'm just going to um do another quick little video just to show you uh, my needle felting gear and uh, things that you might want to buy if you want to have a go so um i'll get on with that now i'll swip the swip swip <laughs> i'll swap the view around now to my little table here and uh, i'll just place stuff on the table so this is my needle felting box where i've got all my bits and pieces and uh i'll have a look see how that <laughs> it's all quite stuffed in there uh, shut that down now. So I'll just move this to one side and get the stuff out separately. Ugh. So this is actually a huge amount of, of wall and it's what they call core wall and it's what you build your body shapes up with and then you colour afterwards. So um, yeah, I mean the mouse I probably use probably no more than that much. And what you do is you kind of roll it all up. Get it out of the sunlight there. Yeah, you kind of roll it all up and then you just stab in with a, a needle all over and then it eventually goes hard um, when it all gets matted inside. So you, you're basically matting. The, the needle is like a little needle with barbs on the end. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. And um, as the needle goes in, it drags the fibres down into the middle. And um, as you keep doing that, it, it gives shape and um, sort of um, fixes everything into place. So uh, so eventually, sort of where, where you can squeeze that in like this. If I show you my mouse quickly, if I'm going back and get him. So this this was my mouse, and um, yeah, I, I can't. I, I can. He's he's not very squeezable. He's quite solid. And you can do these like little indentations. Um, you can build shapes into the needle felt, um, just to give some detail and things. So and you can see with his haunches, those were a separate part of the mouse. I made those separately, those bits. So you have the body, and then I made those kind of like a, a disc of this stuff. And um, just felted them first, and then plonked them on the side, and then poked the needle through. And uh, that's what we came up with, my little mouse. So yeah, this is core wall. And uh, put this down, there we go. Actually see what we're doing. Um, so yeah, that that is uh, is kind of the building blocks here, whatever needle fight you do. So th this is an awful lot. I can't remember what this was now. Might have been 100 grams or something, or 200 grams. Um, yeah, so you need that to start with. And then we'll just go through some colours in a minute. Let's see what I've got here. So I bought these little packs from Amazon, I think. Um, you basically get lots of little um, packs of wool. And they look tiny, I mean, that, that looks nothing. But when, when you're using it for, let's bring Mr. Mousy back again. Um, when you're using it on there, I mean, that, that's just a thin coating. That's just a thin coating. And you build it up with different colours, so you get this kind of mottled effect. And then with the ears and everything. So you build up the colours um, very, very, you, you just use a very little amount of that. So um, say for that, for instance... What would I have used for that? Let's take some black here. Um, yeah, I'd probably just take a... You've got the whole thing there. I'd probably just take a bit of that. And then you spread it. Kind of spread it out. And then, if we get Mr. Macy, you kind of lay it on. And then you just stab it in. And that builds up your colours. So um, you use hardly any. So it, it's quite good, actually. These little packs they do on Amazon are really useful. And uh, you get a good range of colours. I've got that one. Oh, you kind of... Um, don't know if you see there. Um, I've got oranges and blues and purples and all kinds of colours in there, which is good. I've got another pack. 
which is fine. There are lots of greens. So um, you can see from his little acorn there. Um, I use something like that. I, I can, you can also use this stuff to build up a little environment for them. So I could get them out and I could make a, I don't know, a big kind of, well, you don't more probably more of a frog, but I say like a lily pad or something. You could have him sit, oh no, some moss. We'll call it moss. <laughs> I can make him a little mossy area to sit on. And um, yeah, so uh, lots of colours there. I mean, it's all just, it's all the same stuff, just dyed different colours. And um, yeah, it's really good. What else have I got? Um, well, these are uh, colours for a wolf because I intend to do a wolf at some point, obviously. And let's just open that. Come on. I've got another pack already opened here somewhere. There we go. Oh, there, second. So these are kind of wolf colours. So you've got your greys and your your white and then your black and your tan. Um, all colours that you find in a wall. So you can actually buy packs of of um, wall um, relating to whatever you're trying to make. So just type in, I don't know, if you wanted to do a tabby cat or something. You, know, you probably get similar colours actually. Um, yeah, just type in tabby cat needle felt and you'll probably find packs just like this. So... Um, yeah, that's all the balls I use. Um, when you're building bodies up, you can make a, a frame first. Actually, if I just show you, this is the kind of stuff you get in the hobby craft um, kits. Um, they're okay for beginners because um, you, you get the actual body shape. Um, I'm not sure what these were. That was, I think that's a body for a, a, a deer, that one. I think this one was for a squirrel. Um, I'll bring Mr. Fox back. There's Mr. Fox there. So, um, yeah, so you would use kind of one of those and then you'd have a ball for the head and you basically um, stab the, the needle felt around it to join the head to the body. Um, but the, the more times you, you stab this stuff, I mean, it's quite soft anyway, but the more times you stab it, it just collapses in on itself. And I didn't enjoy using that really. Uh, much more enjoyed using the mouse, uh, using just the core wall for the mouse. And he's, he's turned out much more defined, um, which is good. So uh, let's put him back over there a minute. Um, so yeah, so when we want to make some body shape up, if you want to make a frame or make it poseable, then you can use um, pipe cleaners or a craft wire. And um, you basically, I mean, have you got any right? No, I don't think so. Oh, there's so much in my bag. Um, oh, there we go, it opened. I'll show you the other ones instead. Yeah, so I've got some different coloured ones here, yeah, but yeah, you can basically. Um, take one of these, you can fold it in half and then put it through there. Half ways. Twist those together so you've got a bit of a neck that you can put the head on, and then you would kind of. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't used these yet, but um, yeah, you can kind of make it. No, that's rubbish. I don't know what I'm trying to make there. Maybe a, I don't know, something fly that flies. <laughs> I'm trying to do this by looking at the phone screen, and uh, yeah, it's, it's not easy. <laughs> You're trying to create. Um, I'm trying to remember how they did it now. There's loads of tutorials online. This is something we'll learn as we go along, anyway. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll make a pose. I did actually use pipe cleaners in uh, this one and uh yeah you see uh, you can just see a bit poking out there but i can i can pose this one using the pipe cleaners i just can't remember how i did it now so you can kind of make him sit down rather than standing up so he, he's posable and uh, make him give a paw there you go he's holding his paw up now for a shake of paw <laughs> so uh, yeah he's posable um, 
but yeah but I, I i actually enjoyed using doing the mouse without this but it, obviously you can't pose anything with the mouse so um i'm sure i will get to grips with the pipe cleaners at some point um as i say i'm still learning and uh just watching lots of videos where here some really really good um people on on youtube that that show what they do and um, what else have i got oh right yeah good idea to show you this so this is just a piece of foam um it's quite dense foam and this is basically what you needle felt um used to needle felt so you can make um if you wanted to make a pelt so like with the mouse um that i had to pull a load of wool off first put it on there and then i used all oh, the tools are coming out now sorry about the crinkling so when i make a, a like a pelt like this you just want to make it like kind of a a sheet that you can put over him and then needle felt on um, I use this tool which has got like a lot of needles down I don't know if you can see those there we go yeah, I got, it has like a lot of needles and then you can just stab that around and then that joins the whole thing together so it doesn't fall apart as you put it on um, so that's quite good um, so yeah that's uh, for doing like bigger areas um, you want to quickly map things together and then we've got in here. So this is just a pointy, um, what do they call it, braddle, I think they call it. So you would use that when you're making the eyes. So with his eye there, you would basically push that into where the eye's supposed to be push it all the way in and then make a hole for the, the eye to actually be pushed into. Um, yeah, so that's that. And these are the needles. They're very small and they break quite easily. I haven't broken one yet, but I've been told they break quite easily. So uh, that's the needle. So I don't know if this will show you the barbs. I'll try and do a close up and add a picture. Um, but you basically, that's it, that's, that's your needle. Uh, you would um, have a bit more of a go with Macy. Yeah, so you, you basically just, I don't know if you can see that, you basically just stab in. If I wanted to put kind of a ridge up of his, up his back, I'll zoom you in a bit. I'm trying to stab myself when I'm doing that. Zoom out a touch. And get to focus come on i'm using my phone for this so uh they don't tend to focus that brilliantly there we go right so if i want to put kind of a ridge up his back i'd lay the needle sort of down like that this is just what i've learned online and you kind of just draw a line where you want the ridge to be for a spine and then you just kind of Yeah, and then you've got a nice little line there now and you can do the same the other side so just kind of draw a line so you've got some memory some muscle memory of where it's going to go and then you just kind of and you can see a line start to appear and do like a little indent there we go and now he's got a bit of a spine so it's actually dead easy, but um, you just, you know, it's just technique. And it's like this gap here, you can make that more pronounced for his haunch. Sorry, Macy, I thought I finished you. There we go. So that's kind of a little bit more pronounced now. And I did the same with this, just to give the impression that his leg was coming down like that. So you just kind of put a little kind of indentation there that gives the impression that there's a, a bit of leg and muscle in there so um yeah all good stuff so that's basically what i use oh, and i use um these little shear things as well so when um so obviously once you've needle felted you've got all this kind of fuzzy stuff so you can kind of just trim that away and make it smooth like that 
so uh, we'll do it too much but yeah so you can trim all the fuzzy fuzzy stuff away and um make it look nice and neat so that is uh all of it i think um i've got a couple of books oh i do use this as well and um, this is kind of a wax is this the one i've used no that's not the one i've used give me the other one i bought two because they were on offer <laughs> It's just normal hairstyling wax I'm using, and um, so I've not used much. But um, you basically use that to make, um, if you're doing kind of like eyes, but your needle felt in the eyes rather than using uh, um, plastic eyes, then um, you can just put some wax, just like roll the, the black stuff in your fingers, the black ball. Um, coated in some of the wax and i did use quite a bit of wax on his legs there because this these aren't poseable that's just rolled up wall and then um i kind of flattened the end and then just use the shears and just kind of snip the fingers in so uh yeah they came out quite well but it's all just it's none of this poseable it's all quite floppy so you kind of have to if you want him to pose the legs a little bit you'd use some of the wax just to get it to stay in place uh, um, and then the ears as well they're usually sort of kind of waxy and stuff so uh, how you doing mate you right <laughs> he's got a smile on his face he's all right so uh yeah that is my new hobby you know i'll just switch you back round. so that's my new hobby so uh yeah it's it's kind of something i didn't think i'd ever do but I, i've seen at craft fairs and things these uh these things being made and i've always really sort of liked them i thought oh, really clever how they've done it and like i say eventually i want to get to a level where um, i can accurately um recreate people's pets but in needle felt so uh, because of the time it takes i mean it, it, you unless you're sort of don't need money <laughs> you don't need to earn uh, which we all do at the moment unfortunately uh, um it takes a long time so if, if you ever go to buy anything from etsy and it's been needle felted then um just appreciate why the price is the way it is because uh, these things take a long time i mean mr mouse here it's on my shoulder mate yeah mr mouse there he he took me eight hours um i stopped for food in between i suppose but yeah he took me about eight hours one saturday uh, it was raining out and uh i just sat in front of the telly and and made made me mouse here so uh yes that's uh, my needle felt in so sorry i've been droning on again um you got all the information now if you want me to do it on on film then i will and uh once i've done a series of this making mr jingles i will um i will look at my keyboard and uh, see if i can learn how to play some music <laughs> uh, uh, anything to help i still need to um learn how to play my ukulele as well uh, um anything to to fill up the time we've got at the moment and uh hopefully at the end of it we'll all have a few more skills if we all did something that we just wouldn't do normally that'd be quite good and uh Yes. Right. I will see you in the next video, um, which will probably be Mr. Jingles. Um, starting Mr. Jingles, if you uh, decide you'd like to see that. Take care, guys. Bye. In the moment, your love in the camp of van life, you're living in the moment and loving the camp of van life.